Healthcare and senior care is fraught with problems and challenges, but we're also seeing some amazing new clinical treatments and resources. This show will help illuminate and uncover the good, bad, and the ugly in order to equip patients, families, and other healthcare providers. Welcome to Senior Care Confidential. Hi, everyone. It's Joe, and I am here. We have a very special guest. Um, everybody knows, has heard the expression, music is the medicine for the soul, and I am such a fan of music. I've, I've loved, my mother was a singer, a professional singer. I grew up learning to harmonize when I was four and five years old. I, you know, I've always sung in a church choir and it's just so special to me. And I feel that as when I'm singing, I just feel, I just, you can feel the Lord just, just around you. You can feel the angels rejoicing. Mm-hmm. And um, so we're talking about music with a hospice patient. And I have such a special guest, Daisy Winters. She is a dear friend of mine. Um, Daisy does music enrichment with an awesome hospice, Good Shepherd here in Dallas. And I am so excited. Thank you for coming out and being with me today. I'm super excited. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm super excited. And uh, it's an honor, really an honor to uh, to be here to uh, to share this uh, wonderful thing that we offer. I know. So tell us just a little bit of your history, a little bio on you. A Daisy. little bio on me, just like just in, in the healthcare industry. Uh, so I got into this to this healthcare around 2017, um, and I had a a referral company that people, friends of mine would just call me and say, oh my gosh, my mom's looking for assisted living. And I would just redirect them where I was volunteering over at a community in West Frisco. And so then it moved on to, I got involved in memory care. Uh, My grandfather had Alzheimer's and passed away when I was 12. So it was a big Mm -hmm. deal for me to really be a part of that, um, uh, part of the healthcare um, so then I became a part of a community in West Frisco and then got into hospice, uh, under, you know, two years ago. So I have just been, uh, creating, uh, music enrichment, uh, and bringing happiness all around the Metroplex, really Dallas and Fort Worth. That's all. Well, you know, people, you know, say, you know, when people are dying and they're, they're, they say they're co- in a coma or semi coma, but it, studies have proven that hearing is the very last sense to leave the body. So, in all my family members, my grandmother was a singer, she played the violin, she was humming along until right before she died. My dad was the same way. He loved hymns, Baptist hymns, and we sang up until his final hours, um, and he was moving his shoulders <laughs> up and down when we'd <laughs> sing something a little more lively. My mother as well. Mm-hmm. And um, so just talk about just your journey now. I know you do music enrichment and it just share how it brings out, uh, what it brings out with these elderly clients that are in the dying process and, and what's going on. Yeah. So that's a, that's a great, uh, great question. A lot of times, uh, everyone's uniquely different, right? So it's going to be different for everybody. Uh, so for instance, let's say I'm at, uh, someone's grandmother's bedside and she loved flowers, you know, and she loved gospel hymns, and she was a homemaker. Uh, you know, I'm going to sing some songs, some, you know, some some fun little songs, like maybe, um, I, I don't know, something like maybe a bicycle song, you know. There's a fun bicycle song that I do, and then I'll go into maybe, you know, Amazing Grace and and, and just rallying with love at those last uh, hours or days, if you will. Uh, let's say there's someone, it's someone's father, and he loved, um, you know, the 70s top music, and I'll just do a few of those, and the whole family will be singing along. Mm. Uh, and, you know, of course, we'll, we'll tie it into some of the gospel uh, music as well. But a lot of times I find that it really, uh, you know, if, if they're afraid for just a minute— uh, it actually calms and mm-hmm. soothes their soul. Uh, you can tell by the body, by their body. 
their shoulders may be up, they'll start to relax. Um, then you'll notice that that doesn't make them feel feel sad anymore or lonely. You know, they are, they know that they're surrounded by family, but maybe they're feeling something inside and it seems to just connect them. It is like a universal healer music mm -hmm. for all of us. So play something for the woman that you know, with the flowers that okay. loved <laughs> that loves flowers and you thought about the bicycle. It's, Give an example of what just, you would do. Okay. So it would be something like this. I ride my bicycle past your window last night. I roller skated to your door at daylight. It always seems like you're avoiding me, yeah. I'm okay alone, you got something I need. I got a brand new pair of roller skates. Something like that. That is incredible. Is. And you know what I think with families too, they're, they're like you say, they're so stressed and they're saying goodbye to somebody that they love. And you know, for me, I know, and I would share with clients and patients whose, mm -hmm. you know, families whose loved one was on hospice, it is just as hard for that person laying in that bed to say goodbye to you as it is because they're missing out. They don't want to miss out on further blessings. That's And exactly so right. having that music to come together and be joyful, it's just, you know, one more time to just love one another. And Nothing is more special than music. That's, that's right. just, you know. That's right. So what about just more of a spiritual? I know you've we've talked before the show just about just the spiritual closure. Um, talk about that a little bit and how you've seen God at work in your music. Yeah, so, uh, and, and this has been going on, but it has really um, heightened, if you will, over the last couple of months and there's, um, so I'll be at, let's say, a skilled nursing facility, and the calling's happening. People are, are renewing their faith. Some are, are asking Christ into their life for the first time uh, by raise of hand, and then we, it's in prayer. And it's, it's almost like a revival's happening, and, and I've been talking to friends about it. And asking them if they've noticed anything, you know, different in their community or the company that they work for in healthcare. And they're noticing that as well. And I don't know if it's because I'm all over the Metroplex and coming, coming in and coming through, but, uh, just recently this morning, um, uh, I had a gentleman, uh, who, who accepted, who's a believer, he's nine, 96 years old. And I was just like, I, it, it was telling me about his life. And, mm -hmm. and when you start talking with a song and, and start talking and bringing the gospel part into it, they really, I mean, they're, it, it is like a revival. <laughs> it's like, let's do this. And we're all just, we're singing and praising. And it just turns into uh, to a, a bigger concert, if you will. Well, you know, as hospice, I just... To me, I don't know how anybody that's an atheist can can do hospice because God is so present. Um, just you can feel His presence mm -hmm. in the room. I mean, you can in that dying process. Um, you, I, I had one patient one time. She was ninety six, had no family, or the family she had never came to visit her. Um, she was my patient for two years, and oh. I was training some nursing students. And so we were all, she was in bed and was no longer, her name was Mrs. Baker. This was back in the 90s. But anyway, she was just laying there, and the nursing students were like, well, we can't leave her by herself. We, you know, we needed to get to another patient. I was like, we only have about five more minutes, so let's just say a prayer, and we'll sing a hymn, or, Anyway, and so she's just sitting there and her eyes are closed. And one of them said, I just don't feel right about leaving Mrs. Baker by herself. And Mrs. Baker opened her eyes and said, don't you see all the angels around my bed? I'm not alone. And it is just such a teaching moment that God is there with us, even when we're at the lowest or so lonely, he is there. 
That is amazing. Um, yeah. Is it, anyway, just I, I have so many stories like that, and I know you do too. Yeah, just I, to do, just, I do as well. I want to share something recently. Um, my sweet sister Linda just went uh, and moved mm. to heaven uh, oh, in April. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's all right. She had a uh, a, uh, a lung disease that she lived with uh, uh, for for many decades, but so. Uh, she was, uh, we rallied with love, the whole family. When she called me, when we, we went up and uh, she's in Bartersville, uh, Oklahoma. And uh, so uh, the day before she passed, uh, she had said, I had, some of us had stepped out, but like her husband was there and her daughter. And she said, she was, you know, closed, had her eyes closed and opened her eyes and said, Jesus, my Jesus is pretty. And closed her eyes back. And then they were like, can you see anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They see everything. We see everything as believers. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about Good Shepherd Hospice, it's faith-based. And so we recognize everyone's faith. So I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's so. So say, you know, I know you and I are both Christians and mm -hmm. have that's right. Have strong faiths. But what about those that maybe they're not a Christian? Um or they're another religion, and you want to honor them where they are. That's so do right. you have a repertoire of other songs? or? Yeah, yeah, I do. I still do something like uh, like something like this song that I'm, I'm about to do that, that they seem to kind of rally around. Oh, when the saints go marching in, Oh, when the saints go marching in, I want to be in his number, yeah. When the saints go marching in, and you will be surprised. They are singing along, mouthing, even if they're awake, right? And that is is what touches wow. me and then I'm able that's an invitation would you mind if I pray for you oh, and they say yes, absolutely they thank do. you who doesn't want prayer uh, it's, you know yeah. and especially when you're in that hospital bed and you you know you just wonder the soul searching and people what they're thinking about the goodbyes and what could have been and Mm -hmm. Um, it's just, oh, it's just so wonderful. I just love music so much. Yeah, so do. let's talk about, so say you've got younger, uh, unfortunately, I know with hospice, mm -hmm. sometimes we do have children and teens or young adults, um, that have a diagnosis that cannot be cured mm -hmm. and they go on hospice. How do you approach that? Do you approach that any differently? So music is is music, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to gear a song that, let's say, you know, an 18 year old who is, you know, passing away of of a disease, right? Uh, I'm I'm he 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 or she has the same feeling and the same memories in their life, right? So what does that look like in their life? And mm -hmm. you're finding out again that relationship. Oh my gosh! So he loved. Uh, so he loved to go. Uh, visit his grandparents and this song came on the radio and and I would gear that song maybe you know this song right here almost heaven West Virginia Blue Ridge Mountain yeah, Shenandoah River and then I may go into you are my sunshine my only sunshine you know those kind of things and, and his parents may have sang that to him when he was a baby or his grandparents or, or whatever. So, you know, the, the music uh, hits us all differently. You know, it, it, one person may, may, may cry. The other one may laugh. The other one may, Oh, I remember. And then that starts a conversation. It mm -hmm. almost every time. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I grew up, like I say, I grew up uh, Southern Baptist yeah. and I loved in vacation Bible school, we'd sing this little light of mine. Well, years later, I'm at Pat O'Brien's in New Orleans in the piano bar, and 
facing lit this little light of mine <gasps> and I'm the crowd went crazy. And I know we had an event and I asked you to sing and yeah. I asked you, would you please sing this little light of mine? And it we just, did it. it. It was great. Can you that play was... a little of that too? But that song is one of those universal. That's right. You know, that's right. Just whatever your faith and whatever your walk and Whatever you're going through, I, I just think of that as a child, as an elderly person, as in a young adult, as a teen. What? Who doesn't want to shine that's and right. shine before the Lord? That's right. So will and you play that? And, I will. And that's interesting because if you think about it, God is in everything. Yeah, absolutely. So whether we choose to believe or not, okay. But when we do believe, that's when we start to feel and, and see and, and, and see the miraculous, you know, things that happen. So I play that song for everywhere I go. And I, and I know Duke does too. We, we play it everywhere we go. So it's just like... <laughs> well, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, that was just fabulous. Thank that was you. that was so fabulous. Yeah. So I know you talked about um, just faith, and I've had patients, you know, that have said, you know, Joe, God will never forgive me. I turned my back on Him for. 80 years. He's, you know, it's too late. And I, I had that conversation over the years as a hospice nurse, and mm -hmm. I know you have too. Mm -hmm. So what, do you, how do you respond to someone who says, you know, I've let God down or God's let me down? You know, how do you respond to that with music to speak? You're basically speaking you know, you're a vessel, you know, um, with what you're doing and God is obviously at work. So how would you respond to that? It, with, with a song? With a song. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder, consider all the world thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, consider all the universe display, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, yeah. How great thou art, how great thou art, yeah. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, yeah. How great thou art, how great thou art. Wow, you believe you need to be on America's Got, Got Talent. I'm gonna nominate you. That was just beautiful. Thank that you. This is beautiful. America's Got Talent right here in right. hospice, really. Oh, it, it is. And just it reminding is. people, you know, uh God really and truly is, is one word. He's love. You know, he's got the instruction book, which is the holy scripture, the Bible. Uh you know, he's one word. He he is not doubt. He is not fear. He's not uh, afraid. He's, you know, the, he's none of those things that we all choose and cling to. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just remind people, you know, I mean, he it's in the Bible. He says not to worry, not to be anxious about anything and just direct them to the word and, and a song like that. And they're like, that's right. God is great. And he always forgives us of our uh, of our sins if we repent as far as the north to the south, the east, the west. So, I mean, I'm like, you know, like, oh, you know, bless you. So. Um, so I know your program is called Music and Memories. Share a little bit about that. Yeah. So uh, so for, for Good Shepherd, this is a, a new position here, right? The community education coordinator for the company. Um, I have the privilege and the honor to go around and uh, uh, 
you know, provide this music enrichment to all communities, assisted living, independent livings, memory cares, rehabs, hospitals, wherever, wherever, wherever the, your loved one is and, and their families. And, uh, so I go in and, uh, and get to know everybody and introduce who I am and talk to them. And, uh, you know, once we start a song or two, you know, uh, somebody will say, oh, I remember going to a concert back in, and next thing I know it's turned into conversation and stories. And then we'll throw another song in there and then, you know, so-and-so's, uh, oh, I remember I was taking my, it just, mm -hmm. it's a domino effect. Music, again, ignites the light of a memory. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. For all of us. It, it is so interesting. You will see the nursing staff, the care team, mm -hmm. uh, the people that take care of the building, uh, family members, uh, residents that live in a senior living community or wherever they're at, dancing and moving. And I will tell you, there was a lady one time who could not walk and stood up out of her wheelchair and, and they had the, the, oh, wow. the, walker, the walker and she was moving and dancing like this. And they were, I, it was unbelievable. And I was like, is this really happening? This is so beautiful. That's what it does. It That's does. Do. Well, and my mother had dementia. It was a, it's a horrible disease and it was nine years. We, it was a long, long mm -hmm. process and a long journey, but we got to where we couldn't get her in the shower and um, she was frightened of the water. We really didn't understand what was going on. I still don't really understand why that water thing with dementia patients, but mm -hmm. she loved in high school, her favorite song was Hank Williams, Hey, Good Looking. And to get her to get in the shower, we would turn on, you know, our phone and just turn on Hey Good Looking on YouTube, and she would shimmy and dance right into the shower, and we would get it, we'd play it. So I, you know, my advice for these communities, turn off the crazy television, turn on some music. That's right. And I mean, and there are music videos, you know, not everybody can have Daisy, you know, at their front door every afternoon, you know, for, for music, unfortunately, you yeah. know, we can't have, you can't be divided 50 places, right. but there is music you can turn on YouTube and maybe have an Elvis afternoon. And, yeah. you know, what can people do that don't have access to somebody like you? Give some examples yeah. of, um, just getting people happy and joyful yeah. and what can they do without, um, without, Music enrichment. Yeah, so that's a great, great question. And, and a lot of times, that's interesting, you, you were talking about the music, uh, because a lot of the communities, as you know today, uh, do have uh, capability of, of a TV. So mm -hmm. I am always encouraging when I'm there, oh, you know, you could also bring up on YouTube, you've got to hear uh, this group, they're so awesome, or pull up the coasters from 1957. I'll do a 1957 song and, oh, you got to watch this group. The coasters are so good. And so that helps them not only if they're not able to get a volunteer to come in from the local church or the high school or the elementary, they can put on YouTube and have a, make a game out of it. You know, you know, what year was this? And it really gets everybody going and excited. And just like when you do a garden club, right? Bring the music mm -hmm. with it. The music is your key to the healing process of anything. And you know, Daisy, when we talked the other day, um, I went to a community and there is no service there. There's no music. Um, this is the the resident that just lit up when I started singing. We sang together and he harmonized. It was wonderful. But to somebody that they're not in the healthcare industry, but they want to volunteer, they want to ha help start up a Bible yeah. study, a hymn sing. That's right. Um, just a, it doesn't even have to be, you know, hymns, but any kind of music, like you say. Yeah. Um, you know, do something giving back. It takes an hour maybe hour and a half, but look what joy you're giving to so many people. And it's such a simple task. That's right. So call, you know, get, get involved. Really. I like to encourage people. I mean, we're here to encourage, Absolutely. Uh, educate and, 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 and be that, that person or that voice for them. And, and, and for those of you that are listening to the, to, to this today, uh, get involved in your, in your local senior centers, whether you're young or, 
or, or an elder. And here's why. That is where you're going to connect. You're going to meet people. They're going to say, my friend is over at so-and-so assisted living or memory care. Get involved. Redirect. You know, you know, a lot of high school people need to have credits. Mm-hmm. You know, call these communities. Look in your, 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 your local area. Go to your chamber of commerce. They are so helpful with resources. Get involved is the first step. Get to, to know someone at a community and go and volunteer. Say, I'd love to come in and play the piano. Most communities have an instrument there. Mm-hmm. Uh, go and adopt a, a, a senior, mm-hmm. uh, you know, with mm-hmm. what you do. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, there's so much. I Get know. involved is the first step and encourage one another. Get your church involved. Mm-hmm. You know, have your church get involved with the senior center and the chamber as well. Mm-hmm. And, and let's rally Absolutely. And they're just in Dallas County, there are over 16,000 nursing home and memory care oh. residents. 16,000. And that, and just to compare, there's so many services now for homeless. Dallas County, there are about 3,500 homeless. Dallas County, there's 16,000 seniors in nursing homes. Yes, they, they have a home. They have four walls, but they're just as lonesome and isolated as those homeless. That's right. And so if we can make a difference to them too, um, it just, and it brings me so much joy. Mm-hmm. I know you feel the same yeah. way. Um, you've been on stage with some big names. Tell, mm-hmm. tell us some of the names that you've been on stage <laughs> with. Well, I'll just say a, a couple. I have, uh, uh, you know, back in the day, uh, early 90s was uh, uh uh, what they called a demo singer in Nashville. And so, you know, I got involved and, you know, sang on, sang on some, you know, a couple of little records here and there. And my one favorite memory, I'll just, I'll just share this with you. Uh, uh, I, uh, Got to, to, to go in the studio with Billy Ray Cyrus and Cletus T. Judd. And we did a parody, a parody song. And it was so precious that we were all three coming up with our own choreography as we're in the studio dancing. Like we all did, for some reason, we just all automatically, (laughs) our hands went to the right, the left, right, left. And, and, uh, so that, that was, that was a great thing. Yeah. That was one of my great, one of my greatest memories. And then, of course, the Ryman Auditorium for, uh, for, I guess it was fanfare, uh, singing with Cletus T. Judd on that stage, you know, with, you know, all of my friends, you know, Dina Carter, there was, you know, Leanne Rimes was in the, in the wings. There's so many people, but uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Well, I mean, you have such a huge stage now, just all the people that you are just bringing so much joy and what better stage than serving seniors? Yeah, I agree. And, and I will tell you this, it is the biggest stage ever. It's the biggest platform it's bigger than in being in, in Nashville. It's bigger than fame. It's bigger than, you know, mm-hmm. th- this is, this is huge, mm-hmm. huge being able to connect with a heart and, 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 and to ha- be that resource for the, for, for the families and the loved ones it is unbelievable. And I am honored and I do not take it for granted. Mm-hmm. There's I just joy it. in every moment and yeah. just there's nothing like music. Mm-hmm. So let's close out. I want you to do one more little snippet of a song. Mm-hmm. Um, you pick one, but just saying goodbye to the uh, listening and viewing audience. Just okay. take it from here. Well, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad Just to pass my time away I'm glad you're home And I did, I really missed you, yeah I can tell at you by the look in your eyes You can ring my bell, ring my bell <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all obstacles in my way, yeah Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind It's gonna be a bright, oh bright, sunshiny day I think I can make 
pockets now the pain is gone all of the bad feelings have disappeared here is that rainbow i've been praying for you are my sunshine oh that was just awesome and it's funny when you were singing those songs, it made my brain go back to things, remembering, hearing some of those songs, yeah. you know. Oh. Thank you, Daisy, so much. If somebody wants to um, talk to you or hear about Good Shepherd, how yeah. would they get in touch with you? Yeah, thank you. It's uh, Good Shepherd Hospice, uh, 972-870-870. Nine 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 one, and you can also visit our website at uh, www right dot goodshepherdhospice dot com. Thank you so much, and you have a blessed week. And thank you, and keep blessing those seniors with music because thank you. it it really does make a difference. Thank, thank you, you Joe. so much. It's an honor. Thank you.